Greetings fellow tank commanders, in this video I'm going to be showing you a game that I played in the jammer. This is a tier 7 mercenary tech tree medium tank with regular matchmaking. The game I'm playing is an encounter battle on highway with tier 7 as the top tier and one artillery on each team. For this game my tank is equipped with a vertical stabilizer, coated optics and binoculars and I'm using a mercenary crew which has 6 crew skills and perks. To start off the game I'm going to try and spot out the enemies that are heading towards the encounter base in the city. This is one of my favorite ways to grab early game damage and assisted damage on highway. I just have to be careful to not get too greedy here. A pretty good start to the game with a lot of easy targets there, but now that the enemy has taken their position in the city, this area is no longer safe to operate. But I'm not going to fall back here because I see that so many enemies have gone into the city, it leaves a good opportunity to start coming around behind them. With a small caliber gun like this, I'm happy to be working on the flank instead of a direct encounter. Some great initiative by my T-3488 teammate to join me in the charge there. It's definitely helping to speed things up. I want to take advantage of this heavy tank being isolated from the main group. It's a close game so being able to take him out like that is quite important. The enemy is really starting to close in now and they've taken out my direct team support. So now it's just a battle for survival. My main priority here is to just take away the enemy's numbers advantage so I started off taking out the absolution. That artillery's kill was perfectly timed, it takes a lot of pressure off of me.
This is going to be intense. I have very few hit points to spare here. Wow, I barely got out of that one. I was trying to make it look like I was heading left here, but then switched to go right just after I was unspotted. I probably should have waited for my heavy tank to regroup here, but I really wanted that top gun. Now let's check the post-game stats and see how I did. For this game, I earned 63,000 silver without any multipliers and 6,408 experience with a 2 times multiplier. In this game, I dealt 3,999 damage, assisted with 713 damage, and destroyed 6 enemies while blocking 545 damage. This earned me High Caliber, Mastery Badge Ace Tanker, Top Gun, Confederate, and a Scout Medal. I place at the top of my team, earning a base XP of 2,136. I managed to hit 44 of my 56 shots and penetrate 38 of those. In terms of crew and module damage, I damaged the fuel tank in the KV-1S, damaged the engine in the Type T-34, and damaged the fuel tank in the VK-36.01H. Well that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing that game with the jammer. I've only got a few games under my belt with it so far, but I've been having fun with it, pecking enemies to death. There, I almost ran out of ammunition carrying a game that I was top tier in with good matchmaking, which is a real downfall if you're bottom tier and you're trying to have a big impact, so I'm definitely going to have to start being more careful in some of those longer games. Stay tuned for more Awesome World of Tanks videos.